So you want to make as much as a physician? Well, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to be going over five tips to help you, yes you, make as much as a physician as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. So let's get started. Welcome back Psych Dude family. It's good seeing each and every one of you guys today. If you are new to this channel, let me formally introduce myself. I'm the Psych Dude. I'm a board certified psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And in this channel, I go over several different subjects to educate the public about mental health, ways to improve your lifestyle, and topics related to nursing, nurse practitioners, and psychiatric mental health nurse practitioners. If you are interested in these things, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and follow me on Instagram at So you probably clicked this video because you're wondering, how do I make as much as a physician as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner? And honestly, that's a great question. And I'm sure that many of you know that already, but there's so many different tips and tricks out there to help you make sure you get the salary that you deserve. So according to the American Academy of Family Physicians, the average salary for a primary care physician is around 195,000. And honestly, I've met some nurse practitioners that actually make the same amount as them or even more and I've gathered so much information and in this video I'm going to be going over how you can do it yes you you can do it I can do it and ultimately we can all do it so let's get started on that list so the very first tip to help you make as much as a physician as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner is making sure you negotiate. So the biggest thing, especially when trying to get the higher salary is making sure you negotiate. So the average salary within California is probably anywhere from 130,000 to 170,000. So you're kind of at that break. So you always want to make sure you negotiate. And then obviously as a new grad, it's kind of hard to negotiate, but the more experience you have, the higher the chances of you actually getting the salary that you want. So typically in this instance, you always wanna bring up certain things that help you go above and beyond what you're gonna be doing. So you wanna always make sure you show like your certificates that you're board certified. So in California, you don't necessarily have to be board certified to be order in order for you to practice as a nurse practitioner. So if you're board certified, that gives you another plus especially in California. So you wanna make sure you bring up certain things like that. And even if you were a nurse with experience, with several years of experience, you wanna bring that up and show that how you collaborated with psychiatrists. And then you wanna bring up how your residency or your uh, internships or mentorships gave you the opportunity to practice as a psychiatric nurse practitioner student so you always want to make sure you negotiate your salary and show what your worth is because at the end of the day if you don't ask for it then you're not going to get it so the second tip to help you get paid as much as a physician as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner is switching to 1099 so if your employer gives you the opportunity to switch to a 1099 then it's a plus depending on where you live and how much they're going to offer you but for the most part you're looking at a bump up from 20 to 30 percent of your current pay of w-2 so if you're making 160,000, then you can get an increase of 20 to 30,000 more to be equivalent as much as a physician so this is a plus so if you're not familiar with what a 1099 is compared to w-2 definitely you want to make sure you look that up but for the gist of it is one of 1099 you're not paying taxes you're getting the whole sum but you're not getting benefits but w-2 is you already pay the taxes up front and then their employer pays some of the taxes up front but the employer gives you options for benefits so the t likelihood of you getting more pay is on the 1099 side because the employer doesn't have to pay for your benefits or the taxes so definitely consider that so the third tip to help you get paid as much as a physician as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner is seeking out locum roles. So a lot of the times, especially when there are different practices out there where they're primary psychiatrists or they're having a shortage of a psychiatrist or psych nurse practitioner, they give out opportunities for locum. So when you do that, you're able to go to different areas and fulfill a need in order for 
them to help that practice in that time. Typically, when you do go into a locum role, you get paid way more. Maybe not way more, but you do get paid more because you have to consider that one, you're not getting benefits. Well, some roles you may get benefits for the most part as a locum role. If it's like a short-term period, you're not going to get those benefits, but you're going to be able to get the perks of that role and you're going to be able to get the perks of certain other things like loan reimbursement, higher pay, um, you might not get PTO, but for the most part, a lot of the things that you can do is pretty much you're going to be going for that huge salary, right? Especially if you want to make as much as a physician. So the good thing about locum is you're able to negotiate your rates and negotiate what kind of patients you want to see or the time frame you want to work, the, how many patients you want to see on a daily basis. But the biggest thing is if you're willing to work more, then obviously the higher pay. It might not be for the whole entire year. Yes, there are some periods where you can work for the entire year, but typically they're shortened and you're making a lot more money in that little time frame. So the fourth tip to help you get paid as much as a physician as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner is asking your employer to switch to percentage of what you bill. So the good thing about what we do is we bill for the services that we provide. So typically if we're doing an intake, we bill a certain amount. If we're doing a follow-up, we bill a certain amount. If we provide therapy, we bill a certain amount. So typically these rates are based off of what the insurance companies reimburse. So the likelihood of you getting paid more is for asking if you can get a percentage of what you can actually or what you actually bill a lot of the times that makes you make way more depending on how many patients you see during that day or during that hour you typically will make more if you can get a percentage of what you bill so a lot of the times the normal going rate is probably around 60 to 70 percent normal rate in california is 70 percent but you are getting paid as a 1099 also so you always want to consider that but typically if you look at and how much you bill throughout that period, usually it comes out a lot higher than what hourly rates are unless you're working in like some areas like telepsych or rural areas where they pay you more hourly because they need the providers to help the patients. But like I said, typically if you're going to get a percentage of what you actually bill for, then more than likely you can get a higher rate pretty much equaling that you're going to get equivalent to what a physician or even paid more than what a physician makes. And like I said in the past, I went over salaries, but a lot of the people though that do get a percentage of what they bill, they are getting paid the higher numbers like 250000 to 300000 maybe even 400000 depending on where they're working and how many patients they see per hour and per day and how long they're actually working. So the fifth and final tip to help you get paid as much as a physician as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner is opening your own practice. So typically when you open your own practice, you get to actually bill for your services that you provide and you don't necessarily have to give a percentage to anyone unless you're paying a percentage to your collaborating physician. But typically a lot of people will just pay them a flat fee and get it over with if they have to pay a collaborative physician. But if you're in an independent state such as Maryland, then you don't have to pay for any because you don't have to have a collaborative or um, yeah, you just don't have to have a collaborative psychiatrist with you. So a lot of times you can credential yourself through insurance companies and you're able to get a reimbursement rate. So you can either do that or you can just take all cash patients. Typically when you combine the higher paying insurance plus cash, you can get paid a lot. And this is the route that many people are going, especially if you can open up your own practice within the state that you live in. So you're looking at Nevada, Arizona, Washington, Oregon, different states that are independent, you're able to open up your own practice. And if you're able to open up your own practice, then you get to charge whatever you want. And just make sure you find the people to market you well or market yourself well and negotiate your rates even with the insurance companies and you can always mix in some cash patients and you're going to be getting paid a lot and i've known some people that opened up their own practice 
then within the first year they're already making three hundred thousand dollars that's a lot especially as a nurse practitioner if you really think about it there's certain things that we can't do compared to psychiatrists but for the most part if you live in an independent state you can do a lot of what they do and the good thing is that through these insurance companies we get paid 85 percent of what they bill so think about that as a nurse practitioner in the independent state you can make a lot so definitely take all of these tips in consideration especially if you want to be getting paid as much as a physician without the physician debt so yes think about that yeah guys uh, being a nurse practitioner is probably the best career choice that I've made like I've said so many different times and opportunities are out there so if you want to make as much as a physician and you want to keep striving for that because that's what your always your goal was obviously you want to make sure that patients are taken care of and you're providing the highest quality of care possible but opportunities are out there so definitely use these tips and go ahead and grab the money while you can because this is our time this is our time. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you truly, truly enjoyed it. And if you did, definitely give me a like because this helps the algorithm. Please like my video because the more likes I get, the more likelihood I'm gonna be pushing out more videos and being known, especially if you want our actual job, our roles out there and being able to have people understand what we actually do then the more that I get known, the more likely I am going to share what our role is. Alrighty guys, enough of me rambling. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye.